In this video, we will focus on the centralized layer 2 gateway use case. If you have not seen the previous video on centralized layer 3 gateway, I recommend you review that first, as we will only cover the differences in this video. In this use case, the main difference is on border leaf tree, where it does not provide the layer 3 gateway functionality. It's only function as a layer 2 VTAP to bridge traffic to the centralized firewall, which functions as the default gateway for those VLANs to inspect traffic going in and out of the port. In this demo, I also use a switch to simulate a firewall similar to a switch simulating my VMs. Let's start by looking at the configs on leaf tree and the firewall by creating a plan, go to action, edit running config, giving the plan a name, and creating it. We'll focus on leaf tree configs for now. You can see the global VLANs are there. Same for the EVPN section with auto route distinguisher and route targets for three VLANs. You see the port facing the firewall, 147. It's a dot 1Q trunk with the three VLANs allowed. And we have the two uplinks towards the spines. So here are the difference is there's no interface VLAN for the default gateway IPs. We can look back and VXLAN source IP using the same loopback address. We also have the VNI to VLAN mapping under Interface VXLAN. Let's now bring up the Interface VXLAN. No, no shut. Under BGP, we will appear to the two route reflectors, spine switches. And now for the firewall config, you can apply ACLs. On the firewall port facing the border leaf, it will also be trunking and allow the three VLANs. Of course, you need to create the default gateways for the VLANs on the firewall. We will now deploy the configs to the devices and verify interface VXLAN is now up. Under show interface VXLAN, you can also see the tunnels are up to the remote VTAPs with the VNI and VLANs. Finally, we can check the MAC address table, the VM MAC addresses, and which VTAPs they are located on. On the layer 3 firewall, you can check the up table to verify the IP to MAC binding for the different VMs. Finally, we will validate connectivity for the VMs itself. So VM1 is trying to reach the gateway that works. From VM1, we can also test connectivity to the other subnets gateway on the firewall. Connectivity to the other VMs is determined by the firewall policy. So in this demo, I do not block anything. So that's why we can ping to the other VMs on different subnets as well.